before we wrap up, you need to tell us about the Brad Pitt story. Man, I'm trying to think of an appropriate segue into this, and there really isn't one. Because porn brought me many adventures, but this one was um, unexpected mm. um, and very odd. And I've never told this story before, so... Uh, Ooh, I'm excited. Here we are. I did one mainstream uh, endeavor, I guess we could say, uh, which was the movie Babylon mm -hmm. with uh, Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. I was a naked extra. It was a three-day thing. That was it. Um, and I remember showing up and being like, hi. And there are like 200 extras there that have to get their makeup done, that have to get their clothing on. It was just a whole... How many makeup artists were there? Uh, like 20. Wow. Yeah. And they were just intense in the summer. And it was hot. And there was no AC. It was, it was awful. So the first day we got there, it was just like, okay, I waited for two and a half hours to get my makeup done. They put my makeup on in 10 minutes. And then they're like, okay, take a picture. And I'm like, okay, my wardrobe, they're like, you're naked. It's like, oh, like I was informed that maybe I, and they're like, you're naked. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so they take a picture of me after doing my makeup for 10 minutes. They take it off and they're like, all right, go home. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, see you tomorrow. So I was like, okay. So they just had to make sure that everyone was prepared for the following day. Okay. So I show up the following day. I get my hair and makeup done. They drive still us. Still 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay. It's really quick. Um, and also they wanted, I have really natural, curly, thick, crazy hair. And they were like, wash your hair in the morning and don't touch it. Come to set. And it's like a hot August day. It's mm -hmm. like, my hair is just like, pfft. And I'm yeah. like, are you sure this is okay? They're like, it looks great. I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> about to be naked in front of these people. So they drive us to the location, which is like a theater downtown. Mm -hmm. And um, they're keeping everyone within the theater, but attached to the theater is a ballroom. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going to shoot our scene. So there's like a hundred people in there. And then the, the nude extras, which get paid more than like your average extra. Mm -hmm. That was like the tea. People on sets, on mainstream sets, extras do not like finding out that other people get paid more than them, which mm. was like, I was like, oh, the entire time we were there, like people were like, how much are you getting paid? Like a woman literally asked us that. I was wow. like, this is really awkward. Um, so it was me, all of Glass, and um, a male performer who I will not name. Uh, <laughs> we were all there. And, oh, and Emily Willis. So we were all a part of this scene, and the scene goes that Margot Robbie is going to dance her way through all of these people, jump up on top of the piano, and start dancing. In mainstream, they shoot things over and over and over and over and over again, and you just have to go with it. Mm -hmm. And so they give us something called, I think it's called a shibu. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but it's a sticker for your cooch. Oh, um, no, no, no. This is a uh, Merkin. A merkin. Oh, well, the difference between a shibu and a merkin. Oh. A merkin has hair. A merkin usually. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So this is like just a, a crotch sticker. It's a crotch sticker. And it's like nude and it it's like nude. holds your crotch together. Yes. So it's literally a sticker that goes from the top of your pelvis. To, it's like a thong, basically. Yeah. A sticker thong goes all the way down to your crack. Okay. Okay. And that's it. So I'm wearing a robe. What do you do if you have to go to the bathroom? Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> so <laughs> I walk into this place and I'm like, all right, whatever. I take my clothes off. I look over, Brad Pitt's sitting there and mm -hmm. I'm like butt ass naked. I'm like, oh, I'm naked in the same room as Brad Pitt, which was like a very surreal moment for me. Mm -hmm. And Margot Robbie's there. She's going to dance through right past us, jump up on this thing. So we're doing it over and over again. Maybe like four, five hours has passed and we're still on this take. And God, how like how many times did Margot have to dance? She's like exhausted. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think they were putting like fake uh, sweat on her at one point. And at one point they just stopped applying it yeah. because she was just sweating profusely. Yeah. So we're dancing. I'm jumping up and down, doing my thing. I'm butt ass naked, and I feel warmth suddenly. And it's freezing, by the way. Inside of this actual fit, like ballroom, it's cold. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why is it warm? And I look down, and there's blood, and it's everywhere, all over the place, all over the floor. There are footprints from other people. No, 
No. And I'm like, that much? Oh, it was is bad. I have endometriosis. So I'm like, oh, that's coming from me. Like that's that's blood that's coming from me. Oh my God. And yeah, there's blood everywhere. And um, I look down and all of it's like, it's like, oh, oh, we need to get you to a bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we need to get me to a bathroom. <laughs> and uh, the male talent, without hesitation, starts yelling at the top of his lungs, someone get this girl a tampon! <laughs> someone get this girl a tampon right now! <laughs> I'm like, Brad Pitt is standing like 20 feet away from me. Margo was standing on top of this piano, looking down at this fucking blood on the floor, blood on me. And and I just, God bless Olive, because she grabs this man's arm and she's like, stop talking. Stop shouting. Don't just stop. Don't speak. Just quiet. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't know. There's no bathroom. I don't know what. Like, I started like panicking. And so she's like, we need to find a PA. There are a thousand people on set. And not one of these people can tell me where a bathroom is. Wow. So I'm just walking around covered in blood. Don't know where my robe is. And um, yeah, then this, I mean, luckily I'm like, it could have just looked like it was a part of whatever we were shooting, but it was not. So this woman, this random woman comes up to me and wraps her like jacket around my waist. And she walks me to a bathroom. And I was like, okay, great. Do you have anything for me? And she was like, No. I don't. I was like, how am I supposed to take care of the situation? She's like, I'll go find someone. And I was like, okay. So I just sat in the bathroom for like 25 minutes till someone showed up. Wow. With a tampon. Wow. Um, yeah, no more mainstream sets for me because on a regular porn set, someone would have been... had <laughs> baby wipes, tampons, pads. No worries, girls. Sponges. Yeah. Like we would have been so fucking prepared for that. And also, I don't think that's ever happened to me on a porn set. Wow. But of course, the one time I did a mainstream movie with yeah. uh, two very large celebrities. Yeah. I was surprised. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was really unfortunate. And I think it wouldn't have been so bad if that guy didn't start yelling. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Like, do you hate me? <laughs> did I do is this revenge for something that I'm unaware of? You have to tell me who it is after I will. After <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That yeah. is that is quite that. Do you think that like Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie like remember you for that? As the and naked Margo, girl. And Margot's like, hey, God, this one time I was on set and this girl just started bleeding all over the place. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. And also <laughs> she was like, she wouldn't stop looking at us because we were naked. Yeah. So it was like me and also Erin Everhart. I think uh -huh. that's her name. She, Aaron Everhart. We were like scissoring at one point on this table for the movie. And I remember Margot looking over and I was like, dude, she's like looking at us. Like she's staring at us. So I'm like, yeah, I think that to this day, she's probably like, I don't know what that was about. Yeah. But uh, I hope not. I hope it's been wiped from their brains. Or maybe she was like really impressed by your scissoring skills. <laughs> And she was like, I wish I could do that, but I can't. You know, she had to go home and look me up on the hub or something. Yeah, who knows? Maybe she joined your OnlyFans. <laughs> you never know. That's right, Margot. We're on to you. Yeah, that's right. We know. We see you. We know. It was the blood that did it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy, really that's freaky. Hey, you know? <laughs> these celebrities, they're like into freaky shit. They are. Because, you know, they got nothing. I feel like it'd be Brad. I mean, yeah. he was married to Angelina. And yeah. She was kind of into that. She was into, yeah. Probably made him nostalgic, honestly. Oh, he was like, oh. Just like the Angelina. Good old days. The good old days. Reminds me of the good old days with me and Angelina's bleeding girl. <laughs> Brings me back. Brings me back. <laughs>